This is the heartbreaking moment a nine-year-old bat boy was hugged by an amateur baseball player in Kansas, just seconds after he was fatally struck in the head by a practice swing. In a newly released photo, liberal BJ's outfielder Gavin Wabey can be seen clutching little Kaiser Carlisle to his chest. During a National Baseball Congress World Series game on Saturday, Kaiser who is dressed in his beloved red, white and blue team outfit, is clearly unresponsive, with a speck of blood marking his fair hair, while Waby appears to be shouting at someone out of view. The pair are surrounded by other players and umpire Mark Goldfeder, all of whom look visibly worried for the youngster who tragically succumbed to his injuries in hospital on Sunday evening. In another new image, an EMT crew, which was already at Lawrence Dumont Stadium in Wichita treating a woman suffering from dizzy spells, can be seen tending to a critically injured Kaiser. And in a third, the youngster, who was wearing a helmet at the time of the incident, is pictured sporting the same team outfit as he prepares for the BJ's vs. San Diego Waves game. It comes as Kaiser's devastated father, Chad Carlisle, and BJ's players have paid tribute to the bespectacled little boy, who influenced and brought a smile to the faces of everyone he met. Addressing Kaiser's family at a press event, Pitcher Cardone Simmons wept, it's amazing how much someone can touch your life in such a short time and how big of an influence someone can make. Umpire Goldfeder, a longtime paramedic, immediately rushed to the boy's aid, lifting him out of Waby's arms and administering first aid on his small body until the EMT crew took over. Players from both teams knelt in circles in prayer when it became clear the injury was serious. An ambulance then arrived and Kaiser, who volunteered for the Kansas team, was rushed to the ICU at Via Christi Street, Francis Hospital in Wichita, where he underwent emergency treatment. The BJs, meanwhile, continued the game, rallying in 13 innings to defeat the Waves 13-5. For most of Sunday, players and fans continued to pray for Kaiser, who was said to be critically ill. Tragically, they found out that night that the youngster had passed away from his injuries. With the permission of the family, and with much sorrow and a very broken heart, I regretfully inform everyone that Kaiser Carlisle passed away earlier this evening, the amateur BJ's told CNN in a statement on Sunday night, please keep his family and our team in your thoughts and prayers. Kaiser's parents met with the team's players after their son died and urged them to keep playing in the series, said Mike Carlisle, an extended relative of the boy and the BJ's general manager. We just lost a little nine-year-old BJ and it's incredibly sad. Carlisle said, no one wrote us a book to tell us how to do this, we're just dealing with it the best way we know how and that's to keep coming out and keep honoring Kaiser on the field. He added that Kaiser was a kid, small in stature, who just wanted to be one of the guys. He said Kaiser was eager to get to the ballpark every day and that watching him interact with the players was entertaining. Kaiser and our head coach were very tight. It was special. Carlisle said the BJs have now advanced to the semi-finals following their win against the Waves. It is such an unfortunate accident and all we can do is be strong for the family, said team manager Adam Anderson on Sunday night, following the news of Kaiser's passing. That's all they wanted us to do was go out there and play a good baseball game, and that's what we did. This is the